Hey guys, in this video, I wanna share with you how you can link your custom domain name in GrooveFunnels and how you can get your free SSL certificate so you can make your site secure. Now, if, you have, if you're new to my channel, my name's Silas Haig and I share tips and tricks for freelancers, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, or anyone looking to grow or start their online business. So let's get straight into the training. So um, what I'm gonna do is obviously, first of all, you need your free GrooveFunnels account or paid one. Um, if you don't have one, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can get your own account. And now what we need to do is go over to cloudflare.com and just sign up for a free account again there. Um, so I'm just gonna log into my account here. And then once you're logged in, you need to click add site. So um, we'll just go here and click add site. And then I'll just put in my site here. So you just wanna put in your domain name here. So we'll just click add site. And then once, you're, uh, once you get to this section, we only need the free plan. Um, we don't need to worry about any of the other things. So just click the free plan and then click confirm plan. And then um, Cloudflare will just scan your, scan that domain name just to check all the DNS records. So um, if you just scroll down and usually if you haven't um, already done much with that domain name, if it's a new domain name, um, then it should all be fine. Now I might have to make some changes to mine, but um, we'll get to that when, when in the next stage. So if you just go on down to continue, and then what you need to do next is go to where you have registered your domain and you need to remove the current name servers and then change them. So remove the name, name servers that are right there at the moment and then change them with these ones. And it sounds complex, but it's very simple. So for, I've registered this domain name with Namecheap. So um, that's the one that I'll go with, but it's pretty much the same if you're with GoDaddy or any others. Um, all you need to do is just log in. So I've just logged into my Namecheap account here and you need, this is for the same, this is for Namecheap. So I'm just gonna click manage on my domain that I'm looking for. And then just wait for it to load. And then you need to go to um, name servers here. So as you, see, as you can see, it says Namecheap basic DNS. So we need to change that to custom DNS. And then we need to copy these two name servers here. So I'm just gonna copy that one. And then the same again with this one. And then if we just click save there. And then as you can see, it says it can take up to 48 hours to, to, to take effect. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll click done, check name servers. And then sometimes it takes a little while. So what we'll do is we'll just click get started on this and just make sure this is on. Um, and we want to always use HTTPS as well. So we want to save that. And then everything else, I think you can leave as is. And click finish. And there we are. So once that's done, um, sometimes it'll take a little while, as I said. So we just wanna make sure in here. And now what we need to do in here, um, you might not have to do this, but you just need to check that you have the right C name here. So what you need to do is click add record and then we want to do C name and then go into Groove Funnels and where you want your the site that you want to link your custom domain name to, open that up, click on publish here on the arrow and then you, you want to click on pu publish on your domain. So you click publish on your domain. Oh, that's not the right one. So um, put in your domain here. So then we can click publish here, but it won't quite be ready yet. We just need to go back to Cloudflare and we need to type in target. We want um, host10.groovepages.com. So we want that in there. And then here we want the www for the name and then click save. And as you can see, it isn't working for mine because I already have a C name record. So what I wanna do, I'm just gonna delete this C name record um, actually, I'll just edit the same one. So rather than that being the target, we want this to be the target. 
So if you're starting from if you're starting from fresh, this is all you need to do. You just have to have a CNAME record and just with these settings. And we'll just click save there. And we'll make sure that's this should all be um, automatically done. Just want to make sure it has these settings um, like so. Uh, which is what I was using previously before I switched everything across to GrooveFunnels. Um, so now if we just save everything, we can cancel that. Um, and sometimes you need to give things a bit of time to load. So if we just go test out this domain now, it should hopefully send to um, the correct site. Now obviously that's the wrong logo there, but um, that's the right site. So that's all you have to do to get your domain linked, your custom domain linked and get your SSL certificate. Now, if you want more of these kind of tips and tricks um, that I share on a more regular basis inside my Facebook group called Young Freelancers and Solopreneurs. And this is just an online community where we just share all sorts of advice and help each other out in a supportive and um, in a supportive kind of community. So um, I'll leave a link down below as well for, uh, for that Facebook group. Uh, other than that, I hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you in another video.